Then, ladies and gents, lymphatic examination. This will be part of the general, the cardiovascular, or a lymphatic examination in its own right. As a patient, what you're looking for first and foremost, you're going to be feeling whether the lymph nodes are palpable, whether they are tender, which would be indicative or, or raised, indicative of uh, infection. If they are shotty, i.e. they are clustered together, indicative of carcinogenic, or whether they're tethered, again, it's an indica indication uh, of them being carcinogenic, cancer causing. Remember the lymph nodes, uh, the tonsils are your primary site of infection. Also patient, introduce off as ever. So now I've confirmed the patient's details, I've given consent, and I have also informed the patient, if at all there's anything pain or uncomfortable, at any point, please do say, sure. or if you want me to stop any time for any reason, otherwise don't hesitate to say that. That's right. That's yeah. Yeah. Uh, do ask the patient to remove any uh, jewellery and any uh, ornaments otherwise, as well as their glasses. So in, in this case, Naim, would you mind if you remove your glasses for me, please? That's okay. wonderful. Thank you very much. So I am going to do the whole examination from the back. That's would fine. You, is, okay, wonderful. Thank you very much. So, relax the patient. You relax all the way for me. Okay. Yeah. So we begin with the submental. That's just below the chin itself, and then you can palpate in the submandibular region, just below the jaw, and then moving from there into the preauricular, there's your auricles, and then the postauricular. Notice how I'm supporting the patient's head. I do the occipitals one at a time, uh, taking a mental note as to the asymmetry if there is any. Then I'm going to run down the posterior chin, which sits anterior to the upper trapezius fibres, and then ask the patient to look over the left, or you can indicate, and you can feel along the sternocleidomastoid for the anterior chin on the right and then for the anterior chin on the left. To finish things off, you'll palpate in the supraclavicular fossa. I would typically, usually, have the patient having removed their upper garment. Uh, if uh, they required otherwise a chaperone in the room, I would do that. We have palpated here for asymmetry or any tenderness as well along the process. Thank you very much, Naim. Thank you very much Thank for you watching.